Your body is comprised of billions of diverse cells whose jobs vary from creating your vital organs to producing the energy you need to keep moving throughout the day. They do this by sending information through fast communication networks known as cell signaling pathways. Everything you eat contains nutrients that act as molecular messengers, transferring instructions along these pathways to your cells. By isolating key nutrients, you can tap in to your body's natural ability to send and receive information and create a specific response within your cells. This is the power of USANA Intelligence technology. Using scientifically developed blends of nutrients and plant extracts that target these distinct pathways to boost the signals that activate important health benefits, like improved mental clarity, a more robust immune response, and better defense against oxidative stress. This groundbreaking technology delivers exactly what your body needs to activate its natural capabilities, redefining what it means to live a happy, healthy life. Start today by customizing your health routine with targeted nutrition featuring Encelligen's technology. Only from Usana. This session will begin soon. You're in the right place. Say hello on the social wall before this session starts. This session will begin soon. begins now. Observe a rare and revealing conversation with USANA founder, Dr. Myron Wentz. Hosting this insightful exchange between USANA's chairman, past and present, is CEO Kevin Guest. I've been fortunate to know some pretty brilliant people over the decades. All of them have influenced my life in countless ways. However, there's one person who's guided my life into entirely new directions and my three decades of experience with USANA. That is none other than Dr. Myron Wentz. I'm not sure what everyone knows when we first met, which is now over 25 years ago. Our very first introduction to one another was at Gull Laboratories. This was Dr. Wentz's pre-USANA company. It developed and manufactured diagnostic test kits for the diagnosis of infectious diseases and autoimmune disorders. But there was a lot more going on inside Gull at the time. Little did I know at that time that it was really the genesis of what later became USANA Health Sciences. It was the early 1990s. I remember pulling up to the front of the building and walking down the halls. And honestly, I had no idea what I was about to experience. But what I saw were a whole lot of scientists, and the place was very clean and sterile. It was unlike anything I had seen in person. They told me they were doing different sorts of tests on human cells, which was certainly interesting. So at least I had something to talk about. We went back to Dr. Wentz's office for an interview. And I set up my camera, which is the reason you don't see very many pictures of me from back then. I was mostly behind the camera. But lucky for all of us, here's a photo of me around that time. As you can see, my hair was totally in style. So Dr. Wentz and I sat down. From the get-go, he talked about vitamins. I distinctly recall that he emphasized how we should be treating the body's cells 
with the same nutrients he was using in the lab. And from there, the rest is history. Fast forward to today, nearly three decades later, and that very notion, how nutrients are vital to optimal health, is very much the same message today as it was back then. I think that's amazing. There are very few people we get to connect with who are so focused on what's deep within the microscope. But right now, we are fortunate to have who I'd consider to be a true scientist, as well as a genuine philanthropist. Joining us right now, it's my honor to welcome the founder of USANA and his beautiful wife, who nearly 30 years ago helped create a strong and resilient community of advocates focused on one vision, to be the healthiest family on earth. Thank you, Dr. Wentz, for bringing the gift to so many families around the world. It's great to have you here, and it's wonderful to see you too, Prudence. Thank you, Kevin. It's great to see you. You guys look awesome. It's great to see you happy and healthy. We heard from Jay Shetty earlier today about the importance of resilience. What does resilience mean to you, Dr. Wentz? I know resilience uh, seems to be the topic for the year, does it not? Uh, this is the year. Well, as a cell biologist, I think of resilience at the cellular level. I think of the cell being able to resist damage done by free radicals and toxins with the aid of antioxidants and the ability to repair that damage done by free radicals and oxidative toxics and the cells having the capability to express their full potential and perform all that they were intended to do through optimal nutrition. That's awesome. Yes, you're right. Resilience is the key word this year and uh, our ability to bounce back and even be stronger. Um, philanthropy is a big part of who you both are. Today, more than ever, many people know about your work with the Children's Hunger Fund. Uh, you have hospitals around the world. You're focused on helping children. I've been on many trips with both of you and watched Prudence in her eyes as she engaged with these beautiful children in Africa and watched you, Dr. Wentz, as they played on your lap and as you uh, interacted with these beautiful children. And we, we, we walked into um, various orphanages and you're wanting them to have dry beds uh, to sleep in and, and donating beds to all the children in the orphanage. Uh, what, what a beautiful thing for me personally to experience as I watch the two of you open your hearts and your wallets to helping the less fortunate around the world. So I'm curious, what sparkled, sparked your passion for helping children? Uh, I would have to say it began with meeting with Dave Phillips from the Children's Hunger Fund and traveling to places around the world where he showed me the plight of orphans and impoverished children. We went to the Ukraine uh, and toured rehab centers where children suffering from fallout from Chernobyl. We met earthquake uh, victims uh, when we were in El Salvador and visited uh, refugee camps in Uganda, uh, South Sudan. Uh, and I came to the feeling that my life, well, my plan for it, it's it's all about the children. They should not be denied the opportunity to live productive, healthy, and rewarding lives. Prudence, I wanted to ask you, just as I was talking about these experiences, what came to your mind as, as and you hear Dr. Wentz talking about 
children and about giving and just from your heart, what are some thoughts that you have? Well, I think like Dr. Wentz and you, Kevin, um, I don't think you can go into that um, type of a situation and not be touched. It, it's just devastating to see um, how that there are so many, many millions of children all over the world who are just in desperate need. They have such hope in their in their beings. And so to be able to touch it and help them in just a little way is so rewarding for both of us. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Um, not sure others know about lesser known contributions like the Cardiology Research Center in Moscow, uh, funding research labs in Switzerland, and several projects many more that many people aren't aware of. We just haven't talked about them. Can you share with us some other philanthropic projects you're involved with? What interests you most, Dr. Wentz? One of the projects uh, that I've been working on for a number of years is I'm working hard with uh, an organization in Africa to, uh, with the hope and I think we're, we're going to be successful in making the whole continent of Africa free from mercury amalgam use in children and in pregnant women. And eventually, uh, I, we feel that we'll be able to ban its use everywhere. I'm supporting uh, the African initiative. Uh, it's called the Campaign for Mercury Free Dentistry. Uh, and this year, I really hope we'll be able to bring aboard uh, the last of the largest countries, South Africa, to ban mercury amalgam use in the country. The biggest <clears throat> project or the biggest uh, philanthropic effort is with the legacy initiative that was just formed and created with the Children's Hunger Fund, providing them funding. And this is over now nine years because mm -hmm. we're into the first year of a 10 year program. But the objective is to provide funding to establish 25 new mercy networks. They're in 20 some countries, but this is new mercy networks and at least 35 new mercy centers, which are structures that. Uh, provide uh, storage for food, uh, for medicinals, for nutritionals that have, uh, can uh, handle uh, medical, what do we call them, initiatives of brigades, uh, have a hot food kitchen, education, uh, anyway. And now those 35 new mercy centers are in addition to the seven centers that I've already established, and there, of which there are two in Asia at the moment, in Myanmar, in and the newest one in Nepal, which very is going to be very nice, a four story building. Uh, and then also, on this initiative to have five additional medical centers complementing the seven centers already established, uh, which in Asia include Cambodia and, and Nepal. Uh, but with uh, CHF and 25, at least 25, uh, developing countries uh, all over the world all over the world Same. yeah thank you for sharing that's it is incredible to hear about all the good that you two are doing 
as you continue your journey of helping the world become the healthiest family on earth. And it starts with this, it begins with the small child uh, all the way to the USANA family that spreads the globe. So thank you so much uh, for sharing those things with us. Uh, what many of our viewers don't know is that uh, I had a mouthful of mercury amalgam fillings. I went to Sonavie and I had them all removed. And they give you a little button that says amalgam free. <laughs> and so it was great to get that done. And uh, I can proudly say that I'm amalgam free, thanks to Dr. Wentz and, and Sonavie, uh, which is a great thing. So positive environments support healthy healing. The ground where Sonavive is today, talking about Sonavive, you felt something like a body and mind experience. Can you describe what you felt when you went to the grounds? I remember actually those days and watching you stand there uh, when the old Levi Strauss mansion was the only thing on the property before any construction and hearing you talk uh, so passionately about what you felt. Can you share that? Uh, with 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 our USANA family, you know, I I really searched the world for the place to create USANA B, uh, uh, but I knew it had to be in North America because of uh, that's where <laughs> virtually all the USANA family was uh, uh, at that time, uh, 20, 21 20 years ago. Um, and I knew the facility couldn't be in Canada or in the United States because what I wanted to create was a health and healing facility uh, that was a real alternative to pharmaceutical medicine, uh, a holistic, natural, or an integrative uh, healing facility, uh, looking for a location that was far away, far enough away from city pollution, uh, hopefully with fresh ocean air. Uh, and I found the site um, that the surfers went to that site to surf. And, the, and I always thought, well, when I first saw it, that uh, there were much better places to surf further south. <laughs> the waves, the, the surf was greater, but they preferred that area and they said it was because of vortexes of energy. And surprisingly enough, the spot was on what the Mexicans had identified and named as the day of rest which yeah. seems appropriate yes. um, i can remember when i very first met you prudence uh, you were in actually a workout outfit and you just come back from exercising and uh, we exchanged a very brief hello and how are you and um, it was very apparent to me that health was very important to you and your own physical fitness was something that you, uh, that was a priority in your life. I later learned that also you're a faithful product user. And, um, and I've always been impressed with, with your desires. We've traveled. Uh, you're always pulling out of your purse, your loads of product that you're taking and that you're passing around to everybody. And you're, you're helping us all uh, be healthier and more fit. Uh, and how you eat is so healthy. Uh, so, Prince, I'm curious, why has health always been so important to you? Kevin, I think it was just, I grew up, I was raised in a very simple um, home. My mother was a great cook. We were in Minnesota, so it was very rural. And we never, in those days, there weren't really a lot of toxins around, but my mom was just a very good healthy cook and that's how we were brought up and then my father was very much into um uh, being outside my brothers and i were always outside when we were in school we were outside picking apples off the trees or wild blackberries and all strawberries and asparagus and that's just uh, that was normal for me and then my dad was very much uh pushed all three of us into sports to see what we liked and to see what would fit 
and I became passionate about walking and running and it has worked for me. And so I enjoy it. Well, thank you for your wonderful example. There's something that our viewers don't know about Prudence. Hope you don't mind me saying this. She doesn't know I'm going to say this, but she has been a very accomplished golfer. And she is the one lady that I know personally who has a hole in one. That's, that's pretty cool uh, for all those who love to golf out there. Um, anyway, that, that's that, if to a golfer, that's a marvelous accomplishment. So um, well, I, have to say, and I think in my case, it was pure luck, but it, it was very exciting. But thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, we've all had very interesting encounters with Dr. Wentz around food and uh, around what we're eating and how we're eating. And, and one time we were on a trip together and we were in a foreign country and Dr. Wentz thought it would be fun to take turns ordering dinner. And so he, he looked at me and he said, okay, Kevin, it's your turn tonight to order dinner. Well, I looked at the menu. I couldn't read a word that was on there. And they brought out this big greasy uh, plate of food. And Dr. Wentz gave me this evil eye and, uh, and uh, needless to say, he never asked me to order order dinner again for him <laughs> or for the dinner for the for the table um so dr wentz or our prince uh, when was the last time you got to order for dr wentz is it all the time or is he still as picky about eating as he's always been or how, how's that go between the two of you well it depends um maybe whether he's brought his glasses and um if we know the restaurant but um and often we'll share things that i uh, she's, a, or she's an excellent cook. <laughs> she cooks healthy. We home. currently we we have so many good restaurants serving healthy food. Good food. Uh, yeah, I cook. We, I cook very healthy, and he's he's really great about that. That's awesome. <laughs> One of the things I noticed immediately uh, when Prudence came into your life, Doctor Wentz, many many years ago. Um, that you seemed happier. You seemed to carry yourself with a big smile. And all of us who are working with you, Dr. Wentz, uh, I'm sure got on our knees several times a night thinking that Prudence was here now in all of our lives. Um, and, and you've had a dramatic influence on each other. So how have you influenced each other's health perspectives over the years? The main influence uh, has been so meaningful for me, my health, is that she has encouraged me to think positively and to, she showed me how to relax and, and is showing me that I can enjoy retired life. <laughs> I hardly think you're retired, by the way. <laughs> His brain never stops, nor should it. Yeah. But, uh, we do we do find time to relax. How about you, Prudence? Oh, gosh, Kevin. You know, we've been together for 21 years, and he's influenced me in so many ways. Um, though I thought, like I said, I thought I was very healthy, and I was brought up in a great home, and I knew how to eat. I learned differently with Dr. Wentz, as Kevin, you know, right? Yeah. You, you, um, I, a couple of funny examples. Um, I, the, um, the rare times that I would eat meat, um, I loved it bloody rare on the inside, but I also loved fat and charcoal broiled on the outside. Was, no, no, you can't do that. No, it's totally toxic. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I would choose. Polycyclic, up. aromatic, uh, hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, really, really burning. <laughs> incinerating ice and then I, I always chewed ice i learned that wasn't good for me i chewed gum and both release toxins in our mouth which as you i had some amalgam fillings and so i learned that every time you chew and you have amalgam fillings it's going to release things um i didn't wash my fruits and vegetables that well and in those days i didn't buy organic and i certainly learned from dr wentz how important that was i could go on and on but um he's changed my life just immeasurably for so many ways and um having fallen in love with him was a, wasn't always easy because I was always learning, but it's, it's been such a blessing. We're, we're lucky. What a great example the two of you are to all of us. Um, in USAN's beginning, um, you didn't, Dr. Wentz, you weren't real crazy about the notion of going into the direct selling world. Uh, 
You agreed, but as long as USANA would become the gold standard. Share a little bit about that decision and how you feel about it today. Well, uh, when it was first proposed, uh, should be marketed, could be marketed by network marketing. Uh, I flat out said, no way. Uh, but it was USANA's nutritional products that they, they were different. Uh, there were so many differences that made them superior to anything that was sitting on the uh, store on shelves at retail stores. And, and people would assume that uh, all those products had the same vitamins and minerals in them. And they would buy the one at the lowest price. And uh, that, well, I became convinced that network marketing was the answer. It shared the message of the USANA products through people. And today, I am more pleased with the results of that long ago choice. We have created something far beyond a nutritional supplement company, as you well know. The choice to share the message of USANA person to person has created a global family that gives me great pride and hope for the future. I hope all of you uh, watching this uh, really took good note of what Dr. Wentz just said because that is really the heartbeat of this great company and why it's been so successful and why it exists today is because how it was founded and how it was started, uh, which is so different than any other company that I'm aware of in the world and which is why we have been so successful as a company. Now, we've come a long way. We've reached many peaks. Uh, we've even taken some risks along the way, uh, like this one. Uh, we were both a little nervous, um, and maybe you, Dr. Wentz, a little bit more than I was, but uh, we were in Switzerland, and we were driving across the countryside, and there was a helicopter out in the field. And uh, we had the bright idea at the base of the Swiss Alps to go and uh, talk to the helicopter pilot and see if he would remove the door, one of the doors from the helicopter. We would fly up into the Swiss Alps, into the top, drop you off at the top of one of those mountain peaks with the Eiger in the background. And then with the helicopter, I would hang out the side of the helicopter while videoing you standing at the top of one of these peaks. Now, what could go wrong with this great idea, huh? <laughs> uh, and so um, I've told the story many, many times uh, that, uh, you know, it shows what kind of man you are because you didn't fire me on the spot. Um, but when the helicopter went to take off, Dr. Wentz was wearing um, boat tennis shoes or sneakers that didn't really have traction on the bottom. And what looked like snow was ice. And when the helicopter pulled back, the wind blew Dr. Wentz back and almost blew him off the top of the mountain down hundreds, if not thousands of feet uh, to what would have been the end of USANA. And uh, we have video of him actually holding on to the top of the mountain for dear life. Uh, he climbed back up. We got the shots that we use for years. In fact, we still use them sometimes. That That's, you know, I'm using a pun on the word peaks as we talked about peaks. And there are more peaks to come. Uh, almost 30 years of USANA. Best in the world of what we do. The healthiest family on earth. Uh, we still have a significant part of the world to conquer. I am so pleased. Uh, happy about the future because of you, Sana, with you, Kevin, having a, such a great management team. I believe it's the best management team in the industry. 
And having such a strong R&D team uh, with Dr. Sinnott, uh, they are spearheading so many innovations and advancing our nutritional products to higher and higher levels of excellence. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Wentz and Prudence. This has been a, a little more intimate interaction than we've had in the past, but I think uh, its timing is great given what 2020 has brought to us as we've looked at COVID and looked at being resilient and having uh, a record year at USANA in the midst of all of the struggles and everything. Um, and so I appreciate you joining us and taking time to look back at the past, but most importantly, what's coming in the future. And Dr. Wentz, I sincerely want to congratulate you on being a true example of what it means to lead by example and for having the vision for all of us to follow. It's hard to believe that not too long ago, we were meeting together in person, but now it's been over a year without us attending a live in-person event. Through the power of technology, however, we are joined by tens of thousands from our USANA family right now in our shared virtual space. I think they'd all appreciate hearing directly from you. What would you like to say to them as, as we conclude this interview? I would like to say that I'm hoping that we, in the coming years, will be able to be with you personally. Wherever you gather for a USANA event, we so look forward to being able to join you and to be with you. Yeah, we miss we miss the one on one and um, just all your everybody's yeah. good energy. So we we'll, we will look forward to and we know that that will happen. Yeah, I I do too, and I look forward to that as well. Well, thank you so much both of you. Even though our time with Dr. Wentz has come to a quick end, you can watch it again on demand. I'm excited to tell you that coming up in just a few hours is our first ever Asia Pacific virtual recognition gala and concert. You do not want to miss out. Not only will you see our most distinguished associates be honored for their business success and resilience over the last year, it'll be with the USANA's own free radicals performing live. It's a look and it looks as cool as it is going to sound. Please join us, won't you? There's a whole lot more in store. We'll see you soon, Donna. This has been a VIP access session. Thanks for watching and supporting the USANA Foundation. Sign